Hello there. Are you facing problems and difficulties and you are tired of life? You feel like giving up? Sometimes you feel like killing yourself, commit suicide and get out of the place. Problems are real, but there are solutions to every problem. There is no problem that does not have a solution. Good day, Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church and Lord Jesus Christ to establish and to inspire you. May the Lord bless you as you listen. Glory, hallelujah. The Lord will make a way for you. Every problem that is making life difficult for you today, God will give you wisdom to solve them. God will give you the power and the ability to know what to do to bring this problem to a conclusion in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want you to understand that without problem, there cannot be promotion. When you look around you, everything that, you know, happens in our world, you know, as problem, men have risen up to overcome them. There was a time HIV, AIDS, there was no solution. It's a problem that, you know, brought a lot of concern to the world. And now solution is imagine because some people can think the way out. I don't know the problem you are going through, but if you can think through, there's always a way out. Let me give you examples in the Bible. There was a problem in Israel when they had to face the Philistines. The Philistines were in battle against the Israel, and the champion of the Philistine uh, called Goliath of Gad. Goliath of Gad came out and began to boast that if anybody could come out of Israel and fight with him and conquer him, then Israel won the battle. But if he could kill that person, then the Philistines wins the battle. And so it was a problem because immediately he said that everybody in Israel was afraid, including the king. I remember the king of Israel, Saul, was said to be taller than every man in Israel. Saul was a, a, a sort of a giant because the Bible says that he was soldier head above all the men of Israel. That means he was a kind of a giant. If giant, you know, Saul, giant Saul was afraid of Goliath, who else would be able to confront Goliath in Israel? There was nobody. And so it became a problem. The whole of Israel army was troubled until David came. When David came, David said to Saul, don't worry, let no man be afraid. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. Your servant will go and solve this problem. This is a problem to the God or to the army of the God of Israel. I will go on behalf of this army and I'm going to defeat this man. And is it true to his word? David went, fought with Goliath and killed Goliath. And remember, Goliath was a giant and David was just a, an ordinary boy. And that means that David was not just fighting Goliath, he was fighting two people. Because Goliath got an armor bearer, somebody who bears the armor of Goliath. You see, but Goliath was brought down by David. David solved that problem. And so because of the solution that David brought to that problem, David got the crown. He became the next king of Israel. What of Joseph in Egypt? There was a problem in Egypt. The king of Egypt, Pharaoh had a problem. He had a dream. And that dream was, you know, baffled him. And the whole of Egypt was troubled until Joseph was called from the prison. When Joseph came, Joseph analyzed the problem for them and he gave them the solution to the problem. And that solution that Joseph brought to Egypt made Joseph the prime minister of Egypt. And that was how the family of Joseph came to Egypt. Because Joseph was able to provide a solution to the biting problem that was in the land. I don't know the problem you are going through, but there is a solution. If you can ask God and think through that problem, you will get the solution. And that solution will bring promotion to your life. Let me give you another example of Daniel in the Bible. There was a king, his name is Nebuchadnezzar, he had a dream. And when he woke up in the morning, he forgot the dream. And he called all the wise men of Babylon. He said, look, I have a dream. And that dream was very terrifying. I don't remember the dream. Can you tell me the dream and the meaning of the dream? And the wise men of Israel said, no, king, there is no one in this world that can tell you your dream. You tell us your dream, we will tell you the interpretation. King Nebuchadnezzar was furious and angry. He said, look, if you cannot tell me the dream and the interpretation of the dream, consider yourself dead. And he was going to kill all the wise men of Babylon until Daniel was called. 
When Daniel and his friends were called, they went to pray. And that is why I said prayer is one of the formula for solving problems. Daniel went to prayer, and after the prayer, God revealed to Daniel all the dreams of the king and the interpretation of the dream. And so Daniel came to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, and said, look, I have solution to your problem. This is your problem. This is the dream that you dreamt, and this is the interpretation of the dream. And so Daniel, because he came up with a solution to that problem, was able to save himself and all the wise men of Babylon. And so all the wise men of Babylon were not killed because Daniel was able to come up with a solution. I don't know the problem you are going through, but I am saying to you by the word of God, there is solution, you know, for you. And let me tell you something about problem. When you are going through problem, don't hang your head down that God has forgotten you. God has forsaken you. God never forgets you. He never forsakes you. In that problem that you are going through, God is still there with you. God is still in the problem with you. God never leaves you. He never forsakes you. So I want to advise you, don't give up. No matter what you are going through, it is not a time to give up. You need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. You need to put on the whole armor of God because there is a solution to your problem. And that solution is right there on the inside of you. And there are ways you can bring out the solution. There are formulas to bring out, you know, solution to your problem. I've shared six formulas. Let me quickly tell you, the first formula is joy. You have to allow the joy of God to well up in the inside of you. You see, joy is very important because joy is in God. The Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forever. And if there is fullness of joy in the presence of God, and God is inside you, because the day you gave your life to Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that day God came inside you. Jesus came inside you to live in you. And if God is living in you, that means that there is joy in you. That's why Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say unto you, rejoice. So to rejoice, you know, has nothing to do with what is happening in your life. It has nothing to do with your problem. It just means that you just need to stir up the joy because the joy is already there. Because God is there. God is the joy. The Bible calls him the joy of the whole world. Hallelujah. All you need to do is to stir up that joy inside you. There is joy inside you. Stir up that joy inside you. When you stir up that joy inside you, that's what it means to rejoice. And it has nothing to do with what happens. What happens leads to happiness. If good things happen to you, you will be happy. You know, joy has nothing to do with that. Joy is different from happiness. Happiness happens when something good happens. But joy can always be there because God is there in your heart. You can always rejoice. You can always make yourself to be joyful. Hallelujah. So that's the first formula for solving problems. Rejoice in the Lord. The second formula for solving problems is get rid of fear, anxiety, and doubt. Because anxiety leads to doubt and doubt leads to worry And worry leads to fear. And when fear is in your life, the problem will escalate. You see, when you allow the fear of that problem to to, to weigh you down, the problem will get bigger. So get rid of fear, get rid of anxiety, get rid of worry, and get rid of doubt. Because God is there with you. That's the second formula for solving problems. The third formula for solving problems is prayer. You need to know that there is nothing that is bigger than God. Whatever you are going through, God can help you through it. And God will help you through it, but you need to pray for God to help you through it. And so prayer is another formula. When you pray, God will hear you. Formula number four is worship. You need to learn to worship God. The more you worship, the better you become. When you worship God, the Lord blesses you. You see, when you worship God, your problem runs away. Hallelujah. That's formula number four. Now, formula number five is that you need to believe that God had you when you prayed. God had you when you prayed. When you know God had you when you prayed, that problem will not, you know, 
you know, will, will not move you anymore because you know you have handed it over unto God. Hallelujah. And formula number six, where I will stop today, is that you need to be assured that that problem in your life is there in your life for your promotion. That problem will lead to your promotion. You need to understand that. Thank you so much. This is where I'm going to stop. And I want you to know, and I want you to believe, that if you're having problems, you're not the only one that has problems. Many other people have had the same problems that you're having. Some of them have died. But other people have rise up of that problem. They have rise up from that problem to become millionaires. They rise up from that problem to become a solution to their generation. They rise up from that problem to smile and to overcome. You too can rise up from that problem and overcome. Rise up right now and overcome and it will be well with you. Thank you for listening. This is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church Bethlehem, South Africa, signing out and saying, be blessed and remain blessed.